What's good everyone, it's Kajani with a guild making guide for Final Fantasy XIV. This video will go over ways to make guild with lev quests and using your lev allowances. Even after eliminating triple turn-ins and nerfing guild payouts, lev quests are still a good source of guild in Final Fantasy XIV. This isn't like Shadowbringers where crafting coffee biscuits was the only way to make guild with lev quests. In Endwalker, all the tradecraft levs pretty much pay the same amount of gil, so there are a few things to consider when selecting which ones to do. Most importantly, can your retainers do most or even all of the gathering while you just focus on the crafting? I will say at least having one level 90 botanist retainer and one level 90 minor retainer is going to help a lot with making gil with lev quests. Without either disciple of land retainer, gathering materials for more than 10 levs is really going to feel like work. If you have them adequately geared, they can gather 50 crafting materials from previous expansions as well as 20 crafting materials from Endwalker. As we get deeper into the expansion, gear is going to get better and your retainer will be able to gather even more crafting materials from Endwalker. Let's say you don't have your retainers leveled and you want to gather the materials yourself. Well, to see how many materials you do need to gather, you can use the quality of life tool raw materials list. It's an amazing quality of life tool and to access it, open your crafting log, right click on the item you want to craft, then select raw materials list. You can change the quantity then it'll show you how much work that you'll need to put in. Lastly, you could purchase some materials here and there, but don't go crazy. We're here to make gil, not spend it. There are a couple things I took in consideration when making the recommendations of levs to do for this video. One is how many materials it takes to craft a respective recipe, and two, if the lev reward will give you more mats to craft the same item. Some recipes will only require you to gather as as little as three items before crafting the respective recipe. Then after you turn the item in, you are oftentimes rewarded with materials used to craft that very same item. And when you aren't rewarded with a crafting material, you are rewarded with a generous amount of crystals. Lev quests are a low key way to farm crystals as you are given like 50 or more of a certain crystal for a recipe that took only like eight to craft. Most importantly with the options that are going to be discussed, it's up to you to choose which recipe that you have the resources to craft over and over without it being a pain in the long run. So let's continue this gill making guide by discussing the best recipes that fit our aforementioned criteria to make gill with levs in Final Fantasy XIV. First we have the culinarian love quest, The Mountain Steeped. It involves crafting and turning in the Sai 2 Vonu. Overall, there is a lot of gathering with this one, and the crafting mat that's rewarded is an alien onion, which isn't used to craft the Psy tea. It's a good option, but let's take a look at the other lev quests. The level 86 lev quest practical command really fits our criteria. One thing of note is if you have extra bicolor gemstones, you can use them to purchase the petalota scales. If you don't have bicolor gemstones or a level 90 disciple of war retainer, you should be able to buy the scales for cheap from the market board. As of patch 6.15, the scales really aren't used in a lot of recipes, so there's not really a high demand for them. The lime basil and the kudzu root should be gathered by your retainers because they can bring you 50 of each item. The level 86 armor lev quest, Incredible Cooking, is another good lev quest that doesn't involve a lot of gathering and sometimes will reward you with materials to craft more of the same item. The same goes for the level 86 carpenter lev, spinning the time away. Lastly, we have the level 80 armor lev quest, Archon Denied. This particular lev quest fits our criteria while providing a way to make gil as you level up since it's available at level 80. If you end up gathering everything yourself, you can pretty much level your blacksmith, your botanist, and your miner all at the same time. So those were the recipes I feel you should consider whenever you want to make gil with lev quests in Final Fantasy XIV. As long as you are turning in high quality items, the gil rewards are going to vary from a little over 9,000 gil to a little over 10,000 gil. 
a pro gamer strat to use when you're doing turn-ins is to stand right about here. This way, you'll be able to speak to the LevQuest NPC and the NPC to turn in items. After about 10 turn-ins, you'll get about 100,000 gil, a few mats to craft more of the same item, and a whole lot of crystals. Oh, and you don't have to stop at 10 items. You can turn in as many items as you want, up to your lev allowance. So that's about it. Thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, drop me a like. If you want to stay tuned for more content, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, peace.